four. Like Cubs at Detroit. Age. One zip Cubs, eye. top one. Sammy up. facing Four's Seth Grisinger. Call Sammy bus driver because he's taking everybody to school. Oh. 31st Jack of the Year. 18th this month. That ties a major league record for home runs in any month. 22nd home run in his last 25 games, two zip Cubs. 6-4 Cubs. Rod Beck trying to close out the game. Davy Cruz on second. Beck fires a fork ball. Bobby Higginson said, I wasn't looking for it, but he hung it, and I put a good swing on it. Higginson's 15th of the year, two-run shot. We're tied at six. We go to extras. Bottom 11. Bases loaded for rookie Gabe Alvarez. Straight butter. Alvarez hitting 429 with two homers and five RBI after just three career games. Said Gabe, who was mobbed, I have to keep this all in perspective. Tigers win at 7-6. McGuire getting things to hit, getting a swerve, his freak and his Mac on. Check this one out. Off the scoreboard at the Jake. He's the only player to ever hit that scoreboard. It's been done four times, all by McGuire. Now let's get to the game. Cards, Indians. Bottom one, Mark Petkaisic facing Manny Ramirez. Bases loaded, one out. Manny says, mm, you're not my daddy. Grand slam. Ramirez's seventh career slam. He ties Albert Bell in the Indian club history book. Three batters later, two runners on. Travis Fryman tells Petkaisic, you'll take that home run and you'll like it. Three run shot, his 13th of the year, 412 feet. Fryman, a season high, four RBI. Petkaisic, one third of an inning. He allowed seven earned runs. Top four, McGuire. Peace. 34th homer of the season, 433 feet, but said McGuire, it's really insignificant. We got a real beating tonight. Still got a standing ovation from the sellout Cleveland crowd. But the cards, as McGuire said, got a real beating. 14 to 3. Tribe gets seven runs in the first off. Pitt Kaisik all. He's making their Turner Field debut without Chuck Knobloch, who gets the night off. Braves leadoff hitter Ozzie Guillen did not get the night off, much to David Cohn's chagrin. Guillen leads off with a home run. 25th career home run for Guillen and 61 career. 6,100 career at-bats. Top of the fourth, runners on the corners for the Yankees. It's a 2-1 Braves lead, but not any longer as Joe Girardi takes Kevin Millwood over Andrew Jones's head. Chad Curtis scores. Scott Brocious stops at third. We're tied at two. So now the next batter, men on second and third, for David Cohn, batting from the left side of the plate. Grounds at the first. Klesko's throw is not in time. Lopez's throw is errant. Goes in a right field. Joe Girardi scores. Hey, good things happen when you get wood on the ball. Three batters later, it's 5-2 New York when Paul O'Neill takes one deep to center field off of John Rocker, but Andrew Jones is there this time for the grab. That keeps the game at 5-2. Bottom of the fourth, Javi Lopez sends one to Daryl Strawberry, who just drops it. Lopez would eventually score, and Strawberry gets back to the dugout, tells Coney, my fault. Top of the eighth, 8-3 eight, Yanks. Runners on first and second when Tino Martinez comes up with a gapper. Paul O'Neill, Ricky Lede come on down. Tino's 16th hit since getting beamed by Benitez. He's hitting a buck 82 since that beaning. Yankees win 10 to nose up 1-0. Brian McRae busts out the whooping stick for the eighth time this year. We're tied at one. Two batters later, a man on for Edgardo Alfonso, who rips one up the middle, but Mike Bordick is there to rob him. Bottom of the fifth, we're still tied at one. Men on the corners for Bernard Gilkey. Gilkey. Taps it back to Pete Smith. His throw, he likes. And away. Rick Reed, the pitcher, comes on in. Makes it a 2-1 game. It's 5-1 Mets in the bottom of the seventh when Mike Piazza puts a home run cherry on top of this one. His 13th of the year. Mets go up 6-1 and win 6-3. Rick Reed did score seven times in the third inning Wednesday, knocking out Steve Avery and facing John Watson in the fourth. Pouring it on Kevin Jordan. Brings in Greg Jeffries and Scott Rowland. Makes it 10-1. Phillies. The top of the six, it's 10-2 Philly. He's chugging across the plate. With Nomar at the plate. Rips one to Scott Rowland. Great stab from his knees. Can't get him, though. Nomar safe at first. And Old Mo began to wear a gray shirt. Scott Hatterberg takes Carlton Lower into the right field corner. Troy O'Leary and John Valentin score in the seventh. It's now an 11-5 Philly lead. Red Sox now down 11-8 in the top of the eighth. Man on third for Damon Buford, but Wayne Gomes gets Buford swinging to end the threat. Phillies hold on a win, 11-8. Rookie Colton Lower gave up eight hits and seven runs and strike out against Randy. Randy tells Gwynn, you ain't got to go home, but you got to get the heck up out of here. First two strikeout game for Gwynn in 225 games, and then Johnson gave him the stare. 
Top five, Johnson on first after an error. Joey Corr, who was two for five, singles to right. Check out six foot 10 inch Randy Johnson getting some get up all the way to third. Runners now on first and third. Next batter, A Rod, Alex Rodriguez representing. He was three for five. He's hitting 315. And big old Randy Johnson trots in to score. High fives, props from the crowd. Next batter, Junior. Swings, misses, bat goes flying into the stands. Junior in some serious pain with. A strain in his side, he would be okay and stay in the game. Top eight, Johnson at the plate. I'm not a player, I just crush a lot. Oh, yeah. Randy Johnson, one for four in the night. He's hitting 143 this year. Big Randy. Are we worthy? Look at Johnson. Oh, smile. Top nine, Junior proves he's okay. You know what? I got to go. 30th home run of the year for the American League home run leader. Two zip Mariners. They hold on a win at 2-1. Randy. 12 strikeouts, eight, two runners on for Devon White. Helen schools White, one of his this eight Ks, but the pitch got away from Pudge. Willie Blair comes home, runs into Helling at the plate. Blair goes back, touches home. Two pitchers just having fun. Then Andy Fox scores from second. That ties the game at two. Top eight, Juan Gonzalez ripping up the spot with the runner on. Juan gone deep to center field off the walkway. Mark McLemore scores all the way from first. Gonzalez, two for four, two ribs, 93 RBI this season. Rangers hold on to win it, three to two. So Helling joins teammate Aaron Seeley as 11 game winners, winning in Colorado. Stroh's already up four nothing in the top of the third when Jeff Bagwell pours it on Pedro Astacio. Bagwell homered his first two at bats of the night. This was his second at bat, 14th of the year, six nothing Astros. But here come the Rockies down six two, two men on Todd Helton. Busts out the whooping stick on Sean Bergman. Three run shot. Helton's ninth. Rockies trail by one. Bottom of the fifth. Dante Bichette looking for the equalizer. Dante tells Bergman, Sam, oh my little friend. <laughs> His tenth of the season. We're tied at six in the solo shot. Rockies leading 8 6. Now it's Bagwell facing Estacio. Still in the top of the eighth. And Estacio blows away Bagwell. One of seven strikeouts in the night for Estacio. Rockies win 8 6. So the Rockies over. Glenn Hoffman making his home debut in L.A. First time ever the Dodgers have worn anything other than white at home. New Dodger GM Tommy Lasorda in the booth. Say hi, Tommy, and give us a home run call. Not to scour around because there are some names that might be available out there. This ball's ball hit pretty deep. good. Get going. Get That's going. It's can't gone. get it. Home run. We'll work on Tommy's home run calls. Mondes, he gets his 17th jack of the year. Dodgers up 5-2. 5-4 Dodgers. Scott Radinsky in for Darren Dreifert with runner on second. Radinsky gets his seventh blown save of the year. Matt Wabeck single to left center to play Damon Mayshore, 5-5 game. In between innings, Dreifert comes over to comfort Radinsky. Radinsky says, my bad. Bottom 11, Matt Luke on third. Trinidad Hubbard just activated from the DL on Tuesday. Hubbard wins the game with a line drive single to left. Luke, the former Yankee farmhand, comes in to score. Dodgers win at 6-5 in 11 innings. Hoffman and the new regime, they get the first win what is the other side of the pillow? Barnes, Barry Barnes, shaken, not stirred. 17th jack of the year, second in two games. Barry should have been in the video with me, huh? Oh, man. Top six score tied at two. Jason Jambi facing Danny Darwin. Jambi, survival of the fittest. His 10th home run of the year. A's lead 3 2. All right, Jason, I'll call Luke up and see if we can remake the video with the half raising the roof. Top eight, four, three Giants. Pinch hitter Matt Stairs. Hell yeah! Business kid with the bases loaded. The fourth pinch hit grand slam and former Expo Darren Fletcher taking Sean Bosky deep to right center and off the wall. Two runs come in. Fletcher three for four on the night against his former mates. Jays lead three nothing. Next batter Ed Sprague. Sprague got it. Ninth of the year, two run shot. Jays put a five spot up in the first inning. I missed it. Got it. You did? Yeah. Maybe I'll do another one. The, the Expos would chip away. Now 7 2 lead for Clemens in the eighth. Brad Fulmer rips Roger down the right field line. Booyah! <laughs> Pulls the Expos to within 7 4. The Expos now trailing 7 6 in the ninth. Two on, two out. Randy Myers gets Rondale White to fly to center. Sean Green puts it away. Jays hold on. I didn't miss you that much. 7-6. So, <laughs> it's the first interleague win for Roger Clemens in five tries. Pirates Royal scoreless bottom. First two on, two out. Shane Mack being a Mack. Grounder by a diving Tony Womack. Here comes Hal Morris. Jose Guillen's throw from right is off the mark. No one backing up catcher Keith Osick. Morris scores. Jeff King comes in. 
Two errors for an unhappy Gene Lamont's team on the play. Royals up to zip. Royals with some issues on fundamentals. Bottom five, Casey down 7-2. King flies out to Womack. How Morris is like, see, what, what happened? I, I forgot there was just, he just strolled off the base and got doubled up. Pittsburgh wins an ugly one, 10 Reds, White Sox, Frank Thomas and the Chai Sox looking for their first three-game winning streak of the season. The wind blowing out. Bottom one, no score. Thomas, booyah! Thirteenth Jack of the year. He's got 50 RBI this year. Jack McKeon's club in the early two-zip hole. Bottom two, same score. Will Cordero at the plate. Brett Boone getting a little freaky with the leather. Nice play up the middle and gets Cordero at first. Boone on his team's 30 and 48 record coming in. At this stage, you can't say let's win the pennant. Bottom four, two on White Sox. Maglio Ordonez rocking a fat bat to center. Deep and out, solo shot, his eighth of the year. Three one White Sox, they go on to win at 4-2. Ray Dura matches career high with those four hits as the Reds lose number 11 in a row. Chicago does win three straight for the first time this year. They had failed to win three straight seven previous times.